Welcome back everyone. Here we find ourselves again on the path towards the sun. I'm Fina and today I have, as usual, another batch of organizations, methods, and resources to help springboard your journey into altruistic activism. I think you all really like what I have to present today. Getting right into things, the first piece of media I have to share is actually multiple pieces of media in the form of the Anarchist Podcast Network at Channel Zero. The network is a dedicated space for anarchists of all stripes to post their podcast to for free. They have a list of co-conspirators that also provide great information to listeners, such as Labor Wave Radio, Submedia Circle A Podcast, Rebel Beat Radio, which provides a constant stream of music from Firebrand Records, Tom Morello of Rage Against the Machines label, and It's Going Down, a very famous anarchist independent online news source that has its own podcast. You can find dozens of podcasts for free. And if you'd like to find them on social media, they have a subreddit, a Facebook, Twitter, and an Instagram. Have an account on a website you no longer want to exist? Then please check out backgroundchecks.org forward slash just delete me for all your account deletion needs. This tool allows you to search through many different popular websites that tell you exactly how easy it is to delete your account, whether you can do it yourself or if you need someone else's permission to do so, and if the account can indeed be deleted at all. Some programs and websites do not allow you to delete your account at all. Some require you to email, call, or verify your info. If you wish to delete your digital footprint, then this is the tool to use. We always want to stay safe on the internet, and the more people with your name, address, debit card info, permission to email you, etc., the more vulnerable you are. I would especially be concerned with accounts you made back while list in education, because those websites can maintain your contact info and trace it back to your school. Not cool. In the same vein, redact.dev is a program for Windows, Mac, and Linux that will help you clean up your digital footprint on social media websites. The program is downloadable and works on Twitter, Discord, Facebook, Reddit, and more. If you have posted identifying or incriminating personal info, I would recommend using this program to clear out your online persona from the internet's collective memory. The program itself is free, and you can have it scheduled deletions or delete all at once. Different types of content, likes, videos, text posts, etc., can be deleted. Keywords can also be deleted. They maintain a Discord server if you have any questions or need help troubleshooting. The best part, though? Redact does not store your username or password on their server either, and they don't know any of your account info, so be confident that you are deleting privately. Confused on where to start when choosing what path you want to follow in your activist journey? At the United Nations Human Rights Office of the High Commissioner, they have a huge master list of topics you can pursue, peruse, and get started with. Some broad categories include land and housing, water and sanitation, persons with disabilities, digital spaces, and human rights. Once you click on a category, you will come to the main page for that topic. There, you can access news and statements, learn about the work being done and how you can help, current events and focus of that, of that specialty group, other organizations that are involved, publications, research, and reports. Multiple languages are supported if your first language is not English. What if you're very new to sociopolitical ideology and learning about the ins and outs of our world for the first time? A great website I came across last year that I would love to recommend is RadicalInProgress.org, 
a basic Sparks Notes-esque guide to various socio-political topics from a leftist perspective. Nobody crawls out of the womb with all the information to understand the complexity of this world, let's face it. But we can dive in at any time. If you don't get some of the vocabulary used in the study guides, there's a page to teach you the most commonly used terms. If you feel like supporting them monetarily, you can buy some clothing from their store. Radical in Progress can be found on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and TikTok, where, trust me, their services are sorely needed. Are you an educator or seeking to host a study group? There are pre-made study plans for you to use as teaching guides. Finally, Radical in Progress also has a very nice blog if you want to check out more content. I've already discussed the ACLU in previous videos, but now I would like to highlight their Know Your Rights page, which can be found at aclu.org forward slash know your rights. The summary at the top of the page reads, quote, everyone has basic rights under the U.S. Constitution and civil rights laws. Learn more here about what your rights are, how to exercise them, and what to do when your rights are violated, end quote. This statement is nice and succinct. Whether you are protesting, a migrant entering and traveling around the U.S., an LGBT person, a student, and more, you need to know what you can and cannot do if it comes down to a legal situation or an ensuing court case. Multiple languages are supplied on each page. Current Affairs is a magazine that has quite a progressive presence online. On the homepage, I already see an article by Penn Burgess, author of Give Them an Argument. He's been prominently featured on Zero Books' YouTube channel, and I believe he also has his own YouTube channel. Current Affairs is, of course, an independent journal and is funded, in part, by donations from their readers. Some topics they report on are stories concerning LGBT issues, civil rights, technology, issues in the news and publication world, issues concerning race, property rights, organizing, higher education, capitalism, and economic growth. In addition, they have, like everyone else on the internet, a podcast and a public radio program. Surveillance tech throughout the U.S. is something we need to be concerned with. Atlas of Surveillance is maintained as a compendium of open source research on police surveillance tech throughout the United States. You can enter a city and find the specific surveillance technology being used. An interactive map can be loaded as well. I will grant, however, that the coast, particularly East Coast, seem to be more accounted for, but I guess that's just because they have more police and surveillance. However, the border areas near Texas, Arizona, New Mexico, and California are well documented. And this is especially important because the highest concentration of ICE officers are patrolling that specific area. Included in the database are notes about facial recognition software, license plate readers, and body cameras worn by law enforcement. Over 1,000 students, all volunteers, have compiled this index. The datasets themselves are from public, nonprofit sources. Sponsoring the project is the EEF, the Electronic Future Foundation, and the Reynolds School of Journalism at the University of Nevada, Reno. Last but certainly not least, we have a twin set of causes I feel should be expressed in tandem. And this is Strike Debt and the Strike Debt Collective. The President of the United States, according to the site, no matter who they are, has the ability to eliminate all student loan debt from the federal record. Biden, as of the publishing of this video, has implemented a plan to eliminate a fractional amount of debt with what he calls a one-time relief plan, 
In any case, a marginal amount of debt relief being given to us is not sufficient for full debt cancellation. Embedded on the page is a video that outlines in simple detail the President's ability to end student loan debt once and for all. I will include a link to the video in the description. You can sign up to be a part of the Strike Debt Action Coalition. By doing so, you agree to their creed that you will cease payments on your debts effective immediately. Now, as a side note, I know this is a lot to ask of the common American. Most people do not have the luxury to simply stop paying their loans, especially on a fixed income, and it can also affect someone's credit, which is not good. If you are ideologically passionate about this idea, then it is a viable path, but this is one task I encourage you to perhaps modify to suit your needs. Strike Debt has an online user's manual to resisting debt, and they also have a blog. However, I'm not sure how frequently it uploads. Either way, you can use it as a good archive. Thank you all once again for joining me in another episode of To The Sun. Remember to check the description for links to all the mentioned resources. I hope you have a good morning, afternoon, or evening. Please take care, and goodbye.